satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. I want to genuinely ask you a lot of stuff about Nepal yeah. and Nepali youth, which in my eyes is possibly a little more spiritually inclined than a lot of the Indian youth that I've met on an average. Mm-hmm. Am I correct in saying that? Like a lot of times when I meet people from Nepal, people your age, people my age, uh, it's just, I get the sense of deeper spiritual incline. So there's a couple of questions. What's it like growing up in Nepal, firstly? It's a very bro question. It's out of, you know, even this Shiva conversation we're having. And second, um, about Arun Valley specifically. Mm. I want to know about the energy of that place. Yeah. What is special about the total landmass of your country and then that specific landmass? Yeah. And so, your your life growing up in Nepal. Yeah. So that's that's I I think I have mixed answers about that. I think I've seen spiritual spiritual being across border, borders and uh you know in Nepal specifically yes, the youths of Nepal are spiritual and they you know spirituality is not a thing that they do but it's a way of life right so uh, nepal in kathmandu specifically the place where i'm born every 100 meters you'll be able to see a temple so on the way to school on the way to on the way to your work you know you'll be coming across temples and you know deities all across so you if even if you it's it's as if a tirthyatra between the time you go from destination point a to point b wow. that's how many temples there are you know of different deities so even if a person is just able to chant the mantras of the deities that it, he 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 or she passes by during their you know during their commute which is one of the most common thing that people do is going to uplift their spiritual levels right growing up in nepal is a blessing because nepal is a dev bhumi dev bhumi bhumi of where shiva is bhumi where you know pashupati nath is and temples like this you know so similar to india nepal is also a dev bhumi where all the you know this kind of culture not only is but started from sanatana dharma you know all of this started from the mahabharata range of our countries right and I, I think that being able to be there, experience these temples, energies from a really young age is a boon. And the blessed soul get to be born in places like India and Nepal, which are in that spiritual realm. And I see people from all over the world pouring in, coming here to realize and feel that energy. You talked about Arun Valley. How is it? So... Arun Valley is a very rural area. It's not an area that is that you would think is accessible through a you know through uh, through through just a ride. It's not a ride to Arun Valley. You have to really be determined to get there. And the energy in Arun Valley is just you can't describe it with words because you are surrounded by these Rudraksha trees, and you are also surrounded by the people who have been doing this and seen transformation of people using Rudraksha. So the day in life in Arun Valley revolves around Shiva because it revolves around Rudraksha. Uh, tell me more. Why is it difficult to get there? So the the altitude, the roads. So my uh, let me tell you a story about my grandfather, okay? So the reason Nepal Rudraksha is Nepal Rudraksha today is because my grandfather was the first person who was actually able to take Rudraksha from Arun Valley and bring it to Kathmandu. Before then, what happened was Arun Valley was closer to Banaras. So people were actually taking Rudraksha from Arun Valley to Banaras and from Banaras, they're bringing it to Kathmandu. So the route in itself was so, you know, long. He is the one who went there, made the supply chain, made the infrastructures in order for the Rudrakshas from Arun Valley to be able to come to Kathmandu. So even that happened in the late 1960s. So that's how rural the place is. Even today, the the routes, you have seen the roads of Nepal, it's quite dangerous. So it's, it's I, I would see, I would think that it takes a lot of courage and a lot of determination for one to drive to Arun Valley, which will take them from Kathmandu almost eight, nine hours. And the roads are not in the best of conditions because Nepal, again, country of hills and mountains. So it's not easy for, you know, it's not a flat land where you can, you know, build roads. It's extremely hilly. Sometimes there's deep, steep, you know, hills and curves. And so driving and getting to Arun Valley is very, very difficult. 
in my heart there's two things for me that are waiting in nepal the first is a future road trip of sorts mm-hmm. i truly want to explore uh-huh. your country and i've not been there in my life and it's always been my heart sometimes you just know you're going to go to a certain place mm-hmm. so that's the first thing one detailed elaborate road trip the second thing is my future wife she's in <laughs> i'm messing yeah. around it's just the first thing yeah. uh i have to go to nepal at some point you are, you you have to and you will be blessed to be in nepal because yes the nature the road trips are there as well as the temples and the spiritual aspect of what you are doing the upasanas that you are doing i believe there's a lot of answers hidden in nepal so which you'll be told. able to see so i've been told if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip